Hi guys, uh, welcome to Team Nogueira Dubai TV. My name is Ricky Rout, and today we're here with the man himself, uh, Mario Sperry. Uh, so, Master, tell us, what have you been up to lately? Well, hi, how are you doing? Thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah, I was about to uh, have very Robert, my student, invited me to come here to set up a training camp for the World Pro. And uh, I'm here for uh, 20, 20 days. Okay, awesome. And how was your experience in uh, Dubai and Abu Dhabi so far? Yeah, it's pretty good this time because uh, I've been coming here for uh, since 1998, but mostly I stayed in, in Abu Dhabi. So this is really my first time staying more than well, three days in, in Dubai. So I'm enjoying a lot. Uh, I came to know the city very well and you know, to, to enjoy uh, the opportunities that the city can give to us. And of course, great training. You know, Jitsu is growing, and especially here in Team Aguirre, we have a bunch of good guys to train with and, uh, and share information. Um, and well, you were here with us for the whole um, World Pro Camp. And I really noticed that you focus a lot on the mental aspect of training as opposed to the physical. Right. Uh, if you could just elaborate a bit further. Yeah, uh, it's kind of hard, you know, to come like three weeks before a, tour, uh, uh, a tournament and try to set up, uh, try to teach a different technique or try to set up a, 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 a strategy and try, you know, uh, you, you, you must be ready in three weeks. You were ready, physically ready, you were technically ready. So my task, I think, I would be more, I would provide more uh, assets for the camp, bringing a mental aspect of the game. So I, I really believe that if you are two, three weeks before the tournament, you should be ready mentally, I mean, physically and technically. So I just came here to push a little bit more and then to pass to the guys uh, my experience as a fighter not just in Jiu-Jitsu, but uh, in MMA and, and submission wrestling, uh, because competition is competition. So what, what we need is to prepare ourselves, trust in ourselves, and of course, push to the limit with control, because sometimes more is less. Uh, and above all, you know, uh, you have to, again, as I said, you have to be prepared mentally, I mean, physically, uh, technically, and mentally, I think 90% is mentally. So that's what I think I do best, is to prepare people, and because I was there, so uh, I feel very comfortable to talk about that. I've been in, in, in very difficult positions, and I was scared, I was doubting myself, so uh, I really like to, to push the guys mentally. And whenever I have a chance, I step in the mat and train a little bit too. Um, and well, you were also there at the World Pro. Uh -huh. um, I want to know your opinion. Um, I think you've seen its growth over the years. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think of the stage of it right now? Yeah, again, I came here the first time in 1998 for the first Abu Dhabi. Uh, you know, since then, each trip I come here, the seat is bigger, uh, more people, it's more developed, the culture culturally changed a little bit. It's more easy going. We have seen you know, more channels on TV. We have more. Uh, flights, more different people from different countries. Uh, we have different restaurants, different you know mixed cultures. So, and of course, jujitsu grows uh, even faster with, uh, with this new project that uh, uh, UAE Federation is putting on. And, uh, you know, everybody's getting better. New gyms are not just in Abu Dhabi, not just in Dubai, not just in UAE, but all over the Middle East. We're having a lot of. Uh, People training. We've seen a lot of people training. A lot of people from from all over the, the world are coming here to train. Outstanding fighters are coming here to train. So we have this exchange of information, this this conception of exchange uh, uh, ways of training experiences that's been uh, been very helpful helpful for the development of the sport here. Um, and regarding the, the, the development of the sport, I mean, you were there back in the day at Tijuca, you know, when they, when they first started having the Mundials, and you've seen the sport evolve over the years right, right. to what it is right now. Right. Now, what, what is your opinion on the growth, on, those, on the way the styles have changed over the years? In uh, here or, the, or not, in, in, in Jiu-Jitsu in general? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, every day, I, I keep saying every day is an outstanding opportunity to learn and improve and that, you know, 
I never get tired to see things change. I never get tired to see jiu-jitsu changing, growing. And uh, this past 10 years, it, it, it really grew a lot. Uh, especially here, in America too, uh, uh, but especially here. So, this again, this past, past 10 years, that was the, the biggest growth I ever seen. Uh, and uh, I, I truly today think that we, this is just the beginning. And uh, I'm quite sure pretty soon we're going to see the Jiu Jitsu in, in the Olympic Games. Well, let's, let's hope so. Yeah, yeah, let's keep bringing it to the mainstream yeah, media. Yeah, sure. Um, and also, we've been seeing recently a lot of a lot of guys in MMA mm -hmm. been putting on a very good show with with like like in between what happened is in the beginning there was jujitsu as the prime dominator, then it sort of changed to wrestling, and then it came back to jujitsu. Right now we see a big uh, like emergence with Damian Maya. We have see a few of these guys putting on some really good mm -hmm. like submission uh, shows in the UFC. Mm -hmm. So uh, who do you think are the are the prime fighters right now in the UFC that show jujitsu and? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly because of the growth. Before we had. Uh, a few people from Brazil had the opportunity to train Jiu-Jitsu and really understand the art. But now, especially the Americans, they, 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 they have access of all kinds of information. We have great gyms there, we had American fighters. So uh, UFC is there. So UFC itself brought, uh, uh, brought a lot of opportunities for people to work with fighting business. Uh, we have equipment, you know, we have keys, we have boxing equipment. So. The fighting business is growing because of, because of UFC and Jiu-Jitsu is, is a great martial art. So uh, I've seen UFC helping a lot Jiu-Jitsu, although Jiu-Jitsu is not UFC. You know what I mean? Yes. So uh, because Jiu-Jitsu is more uh, easy going, it's a family family environment brings a family environment brings discipline. So everybody who who, who, who fights and trains Jiu-Jitsu like UFC. So uh, and of course. Those, this combination bring more opportunity, more people's training, more gyms are arriving, are showing, all, uh, uh, showing, showing up, and, and, and uh, new opportunities for business, different businesses. So the industry of, of martial arts, especially jiu-jitsu, is growing. And I think nowadays, uh, well, because of this, a, a lot of people who uh, you think previously wouldn't get involved uh -huh. in martial arts, like let's say your doctors, your right, your, right, right. your housewives, your your, your lawyers, right. they, they start you know trying it out just to uh -huh. get a feel of the environment. Now, what advice would you give to someone who is uh, brand new, still a little bit scared, uh -huh. and you know thinking about trying out jujitsu yeah. or uh, any martial art? What would you tell them? Well, uh, it, it's easy. It's nothing from other world. It's not like a rocket science. We just uh, and I, I usually think really think about that. I mean, I really say it to my students. There is no difference between the only difference between professional training, MMA training, professional training, professional jiu-jitsu training for a regular jiu-jitsu training is the intensity. Right? It's, it's, it's the only difference. Instead of training two to three hours for UFC, we train just one round of five minutes, one round of three minutes. Uh, we're gonna learn the positions. Uh, the setups, the positions, the, the drills, uh, and the same way a professional fighter is going to is going to learn, but this, the, 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 the test is different. So don't be scared. And I think jujitsu is, is great on that because it's a, again it's a very uh, friendly environment. You can come and, 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 and there are uh, a number of different ways of train and teach. So uh, it's very easy going training. So. After a while, you lose really, really the, the fear of getting choked or be on bottom or train with a bigger fighter. So uh, you know, just come to train. You're gonna see that's nothing from this out of this world. Awesome. Well, hopefully, some of our viewers take that tip and we start coming in the train. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, lastly, so uh, master, what what can we expect from you over the next time? What's your plans for now? Well. Uh, Right now I'm living in Miami, I'm doing a lot of seminars all over America, but pretty soon we're going to be opening up our gym there. Okay. Uh, we're going to have the first Mario Sperry uh, Jiu-Jitsu Academy. Um, and uh, I will be back here pretty soon, maybe at the, end, in the middle of the year. And this I consider uh, you will be my second home. Um, and as Jiu-Jitsu is growing, there are more opportunities for me to come here. And nothing more, 
nothing more uh, you know beautiful than that cool awesome um last thing anything you have to say for our viewers any, yeah. any final comments you owe me a training this this time i'm here for 20 days <laughs> training, bye -bye. go easy with your time, okay <laughs> hopefully next time thank you thank you for thank you for being here thank sir thank you very much i really appreciate it thank you so guys uh if you have any questions for the master you can just drop us a comment down down here in the video and hopefully we'll get back to you uh, thank you guys for tuning in see you guys next time